Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Mike Kwall here. What happens when your business has been marked as a duplicate in Google My Business? Google has realized that there are two separate instances of that businesses. And it could have happened that maybe you created a business on Google My Business a while ago or it was transferred over from Google Plus and now you're trying to create a, a separate instance again or a separate profile again and it's now looking at two duplicates what happens if you have uh, a listing that has been marked duplicate by google what you can do though is you can start setting up that listing if the business has been marked duplicate and you have recently logged into your listing on google my business if you just recently verified it using text phone snail mail then you will now have authorized this account to be the primary account it'll transfer over all the reviews all your photos everything else in there uh, because when you were creating that new listing or that new profile you probably already had all, all that information anyway so it just carries it over to the next one to the most legitimate one where you are the owner or you have authorized it or verified so if a google my business listing has already been verified and you're authorized to manage the listing you can request ownership from the current listing owner let me show you let's jump in quickly to see my screens here and i'll show you what it looks like and how you can how you can manage it what you can do with it all right let's just jump right in all right guys so welcome back to my screen here you'll notice that we've got uh, butcher by nature here they've got a duplicate location when i was working with both owners we realized something really important they weren't actually in ownership of that location they had hired some sort of it person or in over the past five years who managed their location for them we actually ended up creating this account down here which is now you can see it's been verified there's one update i got to go review them as well uh, because we're managing this listing but if this happens to you this is what will happen where you will have a duplicate listing it'll look just like this and if you need to remove it it's really simple you can just left click on this checkbox here click on actions and from down here oh i'm going to move my i'm going to move myself to the other side of the screen here so the video is uh so I can actually see the action button, but click on the actions button here and you can actually access a number of things. I don't recommend accessing anything else or accepting anything. All you really want to do is click on remove location and you'll get this pop up box saying, hey, we'll remove one location, blah, blah, blah. You can remove all this, et cetera, et cetera. It'll say, hey, some business information will appear on Google Maps, but that's OK because we have a duplicate. It has nothing. So don't worry about this message here. Any Google My Business content, associated AdWords, the locations will be removed, data for, will be removed. And that's okay with us because I'm not using it, the owners are not using it. Plus, we have a completely separate account. So all you're going to click on is remove. Uh, right, there we go. So it removes that from the account. And you'll see the change. Let's see what this couldn't remove location, check your permissions or try removing locations individually. Okay, well, it looks like I may not have the uh, permission to do it. We'll have to get the owner to do this. But if you're the owner of this location, uh, you can remove this. I'm just a manager of this location, so I may not have the access to remove this duplicate. And, and that's okay too, because now, even though there is a duplicate here, it won't show up on Google. If you Google map your location, it'll just show up with the one location up there, this one right here. And so if we actually open up the browser or if you open up uh, your smartphone, you'll see that there's just that one location. And that's the most important thing. You don't want to have two locations out there. It'll confuse people, especially if you have two different addresses, too. I've seen other businesses which have two separate addresses for that one location because they switched locations or something else happened. And that really confuses people. Imagine if one of your customers Googled your location and they went to the wrong location, they probably would never visit you again. One, you maybe get a couple of angry phone calls. Two, you'd probably get a, a review on a review or a Facebook review saying, hey, this is not in the wrong, right location. So just be very careful of that. If you are the owner, try and remove this duplicate listing. You don't need it in there. All you need is this listing here. And that way, when you click into it, you'll have, you know, you'll be able to see all your information as, as well, uh, you know, and whatever else. You'll see your store photos, you'll see your rating, you'll see how many views you're getting, et cetera, et cetera. All right, guys, thanks so much. Let's go back to the main screen and uh, we'll wrap up. Hey, guys, and we're back. So, and that's exactly it. So, if you do have a duplicate listing, the number one thing to make sure that you have to do is make sure, one, make sure there's no two locations out of the map there. 
because one, it'll just confuse your customers who are trying to visit you. Imagine pulling up your phone and actually going to the wrong location. Uh, not something that we want to do as well, and you'll, you'll provide some mediocre experience. So just you have to be on top of it. And if you do have a duplicate li listing, it's probably because you created one without knowing you already had one, or two, you had maybe someone else who's authorized on that, on that account a long time ago, and now that you're trying to retain or get access to that, to that account, you have to duplicate the account. You may even have to get on the, uh, on the phone with me or maybe Google and find out why or how to get into that account. Probably the simplest way to do that is to uh, just renew the business listing or get authorization for that. So for instance, uh, go in to Google My Business and make a claim. You can actually claim your business. And when you claim your business again, uh, you'll be claiming the business from the original owner. And, and it's okay if that person is not responding. If it might be your old IT person or maybe the previous owner, or it might be someone else who has access to that account uh, that isn't you. And so for instance, after several days, when they don't respond, you'll have the opportunity to take responsibility for that account. And you'll be able to add your email and get a postcard from Google authorizing you as the new owner. Right now, the key to your offline revenue is getting found online. So you want to get found in as many places as possible, whether it's Google Maps, uh, if it's on Yelp, if it's on Instagram, Facebook, get recommendations, and all that stuff is really important. Just be very, very careful. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this video by hitting the, uh, the subscribe button just down below. And if you guys have any comments or questions, just leave them in the section below and I'll answer them for you. Until next time and next video, thank you so much for watching.